Oh, no. Oh, no. And they'll do, they'll do the fight scene from the Maple Leaf Ewing Picnic, which is a dance. Baiko was a princess, but has now been transformed into an evil ogre inhabiting this mountain. And the good Lord Korimochi uh, finds her out and fights with the demon. The demon has uh, wrenched a branch of the scarlet, uh, changed maple leaves from a tree, and that is his weapon. Who will win? At this point, no one knows. But although the demon has lost his weapon, he still has power. He opens his mouth to swallow Lord Kurimochi, and the fumes make the Lord dizzy, and he loses consciousness. But the power of the magic within his sword saves him. The demon thinks that now is his opportunity, but when he tries to attack the Lord, the sword defends him. Again and again, the ogre tries. But the sword is mightier than the devil. Finally exhausted, the demon sinks to the ground. Lord Kurimochi regains consciousness, resumes the fight, and it is his victory. And with this, the dance concludes in a perfect kata. どうもありがとうございます。小六さん、もう一つお願いあります。六歩。ああ、六歩ですか。<笑>お願いします。ええー、それじゃあ、あのしばらくのお願いします。One of the most famous、uh, movements in all of kabuki is known as ropo, a flying in six directions. It demonstrates the maximum of speed, the maximum of power, and it's a particular characteristic of commoner heroes in Early 18th century plays. Here is the hero of Shibaraku who is making the mighty effort of simply walking. And he calls out meaningless syllables, which derives from an early 18th century labor chant that the laborers are making mighty effort. And so showing this maximum effort of walking. The hero rushes off stage, probably to save some commoner from the evils of some overlord. Ooh.